So in addition to solid modeling, MicroStation V8i is also a very capable uh, surface modeler. So let's uh, get a new file. So just go File, New, and uh, you can use any of the seed files that are, as long as they're 3D. And I believe model seed is, no, I think the seed file is. So let's do that one. Yeah, any, as long as it comes out 3D. You can use your own name or I'll use Bob. And we're going to save our file, okay? Now, once you have uh, it open, now yours may be with black background. And I'm using white because it comes through better. If you want white background, here's, how, here's what you do. Go to Workspace, Preferences, View Options, and there you can just check black background to white. You want it to be white, the background. And MicroStation will automatically, if you use color zero, why it'll put black lines on a white background or white lines on a black background. It takes care of us that way. So uh, then be sure that your views, um, and notice we've got four views open, uh, be sure that they're set to top. You remember how to do that? You uh, simply go to this rotate icon, pick on the top view, yeah, over here, let's say we have a, uh, an isometric. So um, you click here and go to isometric, same way for right and front. So we've got it nicely uh, laid out. And then what we'll do is we'll double click on the front view and make a, a, you know, with a Bezier curve, let's go to the drawing and choose the Bezier curve, B spline by points, and just make a nice outline here, whatever, for right now. Yeah, to do a B spline, you click on points. Those are the control points. And after you have three, it'll show you interactively what's going on. And uh, then you can just uh, shape it in, you know, any way you want. I'm going to shape mine about like that. And then right click. So that once you have, that'll be our profile curve. And uh, then we leave our drawing task. We go back to surface modeling task. We look down and find, there it is surface by revolution. So click that. Don't forget to watch the prompt, surface by revolution, select the profile curves or edges. So we'll select, it could have more than one curve. We have that one. And then it says define axis of revolution. So just click somewhere close to the origin and notice how AccuDraw comes to help us. Right, you see that? That when we get vertical, it is vertical. Now, don't forget to look at the tool settings always for any tool that you're using. In this case, it's saying the axis is going to be by points. That's what we were doing. And the angle of sweep is 90. We want it to be 360 all the way around. Tab off of that. It's always best to tab after you enter a piece of data because it just accepts it. Usually it won't matter, but I just do it as good practice. So there we've got it all the way around. That's what it's going to do. And we use AccuDraw to make sure our axis is vertical. And then left click. And we've got it. Now all we see is ISO lines going around there. But let's double click here and go back. We'll fit the view in each view and see what we've constructed. I kind of like the isometric. Let's double click the top. Fit the view there. We're back in our ISO. Let's go shade it whatever uh, you think would be nice you can you can use I think I'll do a transparent default see how that looks looks pretty good and uh, click on the rotate view icon kind of rotate around see what we like yeah looks pretty good I think uh, I think that's going to work for our Japanese lantern or um, whatever that is that we're modeling now in addition to surface modeling and solid modeling MicroStation actually includes mesh modeling. Now that's fairly new, uh, the mesh modeling. Let's take a look at that. This slide right over here is the mesh modeling task. You can see that we can uh, mesh something from an element, or we can have contour lines and create a mesh. That would be like a digital terrain model. Uh, we can mesh from points from two curves, so different ways to create meshes and then some editing tools. But let's just use this one here, Mesh from Element. Click on that, look at the prompts, Mesh from Element, select the element to mesh. Click on that, 
it says to accept or reject. Accept it. Bingo. We just converted our nice smooth surface into a whole plethora of little polygons. And uh, we could use this method in order to prepare our model to send it out to a rapid prototyper. We can just save this file right now if we wish uh, for rapid prototype. So it's amazing how much 3D modeling is built right into MicroStation. And as we said before, here's terrain model and feature modeling for our mechanical friends, machine design with holes and fillets and chamfers and, and bosses and protrusions, and uh, you can build assemblies. And it's really a, a very comprehensive 3D modeling as well as drafting. Mustn't forget drafting. Well, what we'll do here, I'm going to do Control z again to undo that nice mesh I made. Because if I wanted to go to Rapid Prototyping, the other thing I can do is say File, Export. And notice the formats that MicroStation can export to. Just about every known format uh, on the planet. Uh, we'll go ahead and export it as STL. That's the standard for any kind of uh, rapid prototyping machine. You notice we can uh, control the chord tolerance and the angle and so on, and export it in binary or ASCII. Uh, it says identify the element, we do, and uh, accept. And so uh, out it goes as Bob. So it's gonna be Bob.STL. We can hand that right off to a Z printer or an object printer or any of the rest, and they can make that for us.